Okay, so I like this problem. I like this type of problem. Um, it's giving you some information. It says the cosine of theta is negative one-third, and it tells you that theta is between pi over 2 and pi. And they want us to find these double angle formulas. Well, we can write out the double angle, angle formulas. We can say sine of 2 theta is equal to um, 2 sine theta cosine theta. And cosine 2 theta, there's, you know, a couple of them that we can use, but I'm just going to use the one that says cosine squared theta minus sine squared theta. And then tangent 2 theta, I'm just going to make it sine 2 theta over cosine 2 theta because I've already found those. So I'm not going to use the double angle formula. You can, but I don't want to. Okay. <laughs> So we're, you know, here on our coordinate system, we know we're in the second quadrant because we're in pi over 2 uh, to pi. And so I'm going to draw this triangle. I don't really know what it looks like. Something like that. It's a right triangle, which is important to me. And then I know the um, cosine. So I know adjacent over hypotenuse. So I'm going to say this is negative 1, and this is 3. The hypotenuse has to be positive. Okay, so, and you can see, oh, I'm in the second quadrant, so the adjacent must be negative 1. Okay, or the x, if you want to think of it that way. Now this allows me to figure out y, because it's a right triangle, I can use the Pythagorean theorem. So I've got negative 1 squared plus y squared equals 3 squared, or 1 plus y squared equals 9, or y squared equals 8, or y equals, now it's going to be plus because you're in the second quadrant, and it's going to be um, the square root of 8, but it's going to be 2 times the square root of 2. Okay? Now, because we know that, now we know y is 2 times the square root of 2, we know all three sides of our triangle, so we know all the trig values. We know sine, and you can write these out, sometimes it's helpful. We can say sine theta. By the way, I didn't put theta in. It's right there. So sine theta is um, opposite over hypotenuse. Oops, that's supposed to be a 2. Over hypotenuse. And cosine theta, well, they told us cosine theta. We know that one. And then tangent. And eh, we don't even need to know tangent, but you can figure it out. Okay, so 2 times sine theta. Do I know sine theta? Yes, it's 2 times the square root of 2 over 3. Co times cosine theta, which I also know is negative 1 third. So I'm going to get a value here of negative 4 square root 2 over 9. So that one's done. Then I'm going to go here. I'm going to take cosine and square it minus sine and square it. So I'm going to get 1 over 9 minus, it's, it's going to be 4 times 2, which is 8 over 9, or negative 7 over 9. And then for this last one, for tangent, I'm going to use the information I know. Sine, negative 4 square root 2 over 9, all over cosine, which was negative 7 over 9. The 9's cancel, negative divided by negative is positive. And so I'm going to get 4 square root 2 over 7. And that's the, those are the answers. <laughs> okay.